I've been producing uh, YouTube videos for about 11 years now. I've got 198 of them published on YouTube. It's been a lot of fun. When I first started doing it, I did everything on my iPhone 6 Plus and uh, mainly using iMovie. It's standard on iPhones to uh, do all the video editing. And then later on, I got a uh, iPad uh, Pro and uh, started using it. Well, then later I upgraded my 25 inch iMac desktop to this 27 inch iMac. And I switched over to doing all my video editing on this computer. It was great. Nice big screen. iMovie worked great. And over the years, it slowly started getting slower and slower. And I thought, well, maybe it's some of the software I put on it. Like, for example, I've got Microsoft. Office 365 for Macs on here. It's great. I really like to use PowerPoints on that. I've got other miscellaneous things on it, and it got so slow, it finally, I tried everything. I tried all the tricks I could find on the internet to speed it up. Got this software called Clean My Mac X. It helped a little bit, but didn't find any malware or anything like that. I finally got to the point where I thought, I'm going to have to do something drastic because it was just taking 10 times as long to edit a video as it used to. And uh, so I thought I was ready to scrap this, go buy a new computer, which not only a lot of money, but I like this computer. So I got desperate. I said, I'm going to do something drastic. I decided I was going to wipe out the hard drive. So I got some information on how to do that, um, and I'll show you that. And I first backed up everything on this uh external hard drive I have here and iCloud, all my important stuff. And I said, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to just wipe this thing out and start over. It fixed it. I did it and it fixed it. It's been like a new computer since. So that's why I wanted to share this. I'm sure other people probably have similar problems. I don't know how I did it or what did it eliminated that was causing my problem. All I know is it worked. So I've got the old like new speed back with doing all this video editing and everything. So it's been great. So I'll show you a little bit of the details and how to do that. One other thing I forgot to mention is after I wiped out everything on the hard drive, I started adding things back in like iMovie. I'd check it and make sure speed didn't deteriorate. But Microsoft Office 365 for Macs back on here, I was a little concerned about it, but no problem. Didn't slow it down at all. So uh, I still have no idea what, uh, what was causing the problem. I hope it just keeps working good. So right now it works great, just like it's brand new. Now I'm not going to go through and actually do this again. I don't want to mess it up. It's working good now. I'm going to try to show you basically what I did to erase it and start over. Now the first thing you need to do is go up here in the upper left corner and on the Apple on your Mac, click on that and about this Mac. And you should get this uh, pop up here. It shows what your processor is. In my case, it was this Intel core processor and the Mac OS is Sequoia. So I need to know that to find out the best way to, uh, to wipe out and erase the disk. There's a couple of different procedures depending on whether or not you have an Apple processor or the Intel and what your uh, software is, your operating system. I like, using, I like using Microsoft Bing with Copilot, ChatGPT. It's a great way to get information quickly. And that's what I did here. And, I was, and uh, we'll read through this in just a second. Bing with Microsoft Copilot to uh, find out how to erase the uh, hard drive on my uh, iMac. I find it very easy to use. That's what I use for most of my searches now. But anyway, this is the results I got. Uh, you're welcome to on your video. Uh, you can stop playing and just read all this. But it tells you how to get to the uh, recovery mode by pressing Command plus R. When you first start restart your computer after it's been shut down. And then how to open the disk utility. And then how to... Uh, erase everything from your uh, hard drive. So you have different choices. So you want to be careful and you just make sure everything on your drive is backed up that you want to keep. And uh, But this is an easy way to get the information. 
Also, uh, you usually get a reference, and we're basically what Microsoft Copilot and ChatGPT are doing is summarizing and editorializing information that's out there on the internet. But they always give you references. You can click on it and see where they got their information. Shut down the computer. And shut it down. Now on this computer, to get into the disk utility, I'm supposed to press the start button and immediately press down command and R and hold those buttons down. So I'm just going to hold them down and see what happens. Now one of the things that was messing me up is I didn't realize I had to wait roughly two and a half minutes in this case before the uh, disk utility screen came up. So I just sat there and waited and eventually it did. I'm going to speed up, speed this up. Okay, took a while. It's finally getting into the Mac OS recovery. Okay, so I want to click on Disk Utility down here and click Continue. Okay. Um, okay, I have my external hard drive plugged in. I don't want to erase that. I click on Mac OS Volumes. Uh, there's an erase button up here. I'm not going to press it. It says erase and reformat the selected volume container or device participant. Don't want to do it because I've already done it. It solved my problem. I'm not going to mess with it again. That's what I, this basically what I had to do here. Then after you've done that, you have an option to restore your uh, Mac op operating system. So I just wanted to show you how you could get to this point anyway. So I'm going to back out of this. Let's see. So I'm going to shut down because I don't want to do this. Just make sure the computer will start back up. Okay, looks like the computer's going to start back up okay. As you can see, if I, if I had wanted to erase it, all I had to do was click on that button. Your particular Mac might be different than what I've got. I've got the Intel-based processor with Mac OS Sequoia. When I actually did this a few months ago, I was running an earlier version, I think, than the Mac OS Sequoia. But I had to use the disk utility on this computer, and I wanted to show you basically how to get into that to proceed, because it's a little confusing. And if you'll notice, when I didn't uh, record all the time, but after I pressed uh, restart and then held down command and R, it took a while uh, for it to get into that disk utility mode. So very easy to think you've done something wrong and shut it down again, and you know, but you just got to wait a little bit. So I, uh, for your particular computer, you can use uh, probably uh, um, Bing with Microsoft Copilot just to ask it, you know, if your particular computer, what's the best way to erase the disk? And uh, it'll give you some good information. That's how I got to this. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. Hope you did. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And check out our other links. Thanks for watching.